Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. My dear students, just now I came across with one update, I would say, right, from the Twitter. It was a tweet from the Ministry of Education, right? Well, I won't say it is just a tweet. I'll say it is definitely the moral responsibility of all the students, all the parents, all the educators, right, whosoever would want to prepare for any sort of competitive examination, definitely this is going to be the moral responsibility for everyone to share this particular tweet, right? So that from now onwards, whatever examinations are going to happen, whether it's going to be the examination for JE, for NEET, for UPSC, for any competitive examination, right? Uh, so that all these competitive examinations will happen with 100% transparency. There won't be any sort of discrepancy, etc, etc, right? So that is the reason why this video should reach every uh, aspirant preparing for any sort of competitive examination. So I would highly recommend all of you to share this particular video so that this news, this tweet comes to, I mean, it comes to, ev it comes everywhere basically. It reads every part of the country, right? So that from now onwards, all the examinations in the country, right? They will be conducted with 100% transparency, right? So people have a look on the tweet, what exactly it's all about. The tweet is from the Ministry of Education. Let me read the tweet loudly because I'm not sure whether you are able to see this uh, over here on the screen. So the tweet says, from the Ministry of Education, a high-level committee chaired by Dr. Uh, K. Radhakrishnan, former uh, chairman of ISRO, was constituted on June 2022, 2024, which we already know. A committee was formed on June 2022 uh, related to the discrepancies which has happened in the NEET 2024, right? Comprising members from government organizations, academia, and higher educational institutions, the committee aims to recommend reforms in the examination process, enhance data security protocols, and review the structure and operations of the National Testing Agency. The committee is seeking suggestions, views, and ideas from the stakeholders. And who are the stakeholders here? What, what stakeholders he's talking about? It's talking about the students particularly, the students and parents from June 27 to July 7th, 2024. Submit your suggestions over here. So my dear students, a tweet has come from the Ministry of Education, right? Okay, which is related to, they are asking about our suggestions. What should happen? What should happen basically in order to keep all the exams of the computer examinations very clean and transparent? My dear students, whatever you feel like, which I'm going to let you know, right? What should happen so that all the examinations are going to be transparent and clear, right? Okay, but before that, before telling you all that stuff, there is, there is a link over here. You need to go on Twitter, you need to click on this particular link and here you have to submit your response. However you feel like, however you feel, the examinations are going to be clean and transparent from now onwards, those suggestions you have to put over here, right? And this particular tweet is particularly for all the students and parents only, right? Okay, definitely we educators also come in this category, right? So it is our moral responsibility to share all the responses over here, right? To share all the suggestions from our side uh, to the Ministry of Education so that they also get the idea of how all the examinations can remain transparent, can remain neat from now onwards, etc, etc, right? So my dear students, what do you think should be the suggestion? My dear students, since you would have seen uh, from past couple of years, from uh, since COVID happened basically, right? Your JE examination, if I particularly talk about the JE mains examination, it happened uh, via online mode, number one. Number two, it happened in shifts, right? There was not a single year when a news came that discrepancy happened in the JE examination. Because first of all, it is conducted in shifts. Number two, it is, uh, it is conducted through online mode. So I would say this should be the common suggestion, this should be the highly recommended suggestion from all the parents and students, right, to mention over here through the response that the NEET examination from now onwards also should be online based. It should be online based because if the NEET examination is online based and at the same time, if it happens in shifts, you know, this year 24 lakh students appeared in the examination and, you know, it's really difficult to conduct examination for huge chunk of students on a single day. So it is better if this examination happens in parts, happens in shifts. For example, let's say five lakh students are writing the need examination on day one, right? Let's say another five lakh students are writing after a week, after a week, that should be the process basically. Due to which examinations will be, uh, I mean, the particularly the need examination, it will be handled with care, 
so that there will be very, very less negligible discrepancies from now onwards. Because see, whatever happened in the NEET 2024 examination, you know what happened exactly, right? But same thing should not happen in 2025, 2026 for the upcoming generation, right? It should not happen, guys, right? Because NEET, you know, it is one of the most prestigious examination. A student keeps on studying for two, two and a half years, right? Throughout day and nights, right? They keep on giving 10, 12 hours a day, not just for a single day, not just for a week. That too for complete two years, two and a half years. And then they enter into the examination hall. Then they write the test because they want to become the doctors. They want to serve the society, right? If discrepancy happens in this sort of examination, then definitely we are not going anywhere. So my dear students, it is our moral responsibility to share the response over here, right? To give the suggestions to the Ministry of Education like what should be the steps taken by means of which all the examinations from now onwards are going to be transparent, neat, with no discrepancies at all. What you need to do, you need to go on Twitter, right? Uh, I mean, search Ministry of Education and over here there's a link. You need to click on the link. Once you click on the link, my dear students, automatically you'll be redirected to a page. Well, I'm not, I'm not able to open the page here. Let me check it again. Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah, this is the page wherein you'll be redirected and over here you have to click on, click here to submit. Right. So here you have to post your suggestion, right, but, uh, with the help by means of which all the examinations from now onwards will be definitely uh, happening with no discrepancies at all. OK, so this was one moral responsibility which I thought to share with all of you so that you share it with all the other students, all the parents, all your cousins, etc, etc. So that we give some common suggestions to the ministry and eventually they can conduct all the examinations with zero discrepancies, which we want actually right which we want because this is not a, uh, a nursery level examination this is this is this is the examination for which students like they wait for two two three years right they keep on preparing for two three years and th then eventually write the examination okay and if discrepancies are happening in such kind of examination then i don't i don't see we are going anywhere with that okay and apart from that all those students all those students who are preparing for NEET 2025 a quick announcement i have for all of you my dear students or particularly for all the NEET 2025 aspirants or the ones I would say who have scored less than 550 in the NEET 2024 examination, right? Well, we are starting a batch on 1st of July on an academy platform, which is what we call as Phoenix 3.0 NEET English batch, right? The batch is right now at completely affordable price at 499, wherein your entire syllabus is getting completed by this team. You can see it over here, right? Me and HSP sir will be taking care of chemistry, Yavar sir physics, Ambika and biology, right? Apart from that, it's not only about the syllabus completion in six months. It's about the revision as well. After six months, we'll be conducting revision for two months. On every Sunday, you'll be writing the tests. Study material DPPs will be provided to you after every chapter completion. You're not going to follow any other book, any other study material apart from the study material which we give you, right, in this particular batch. The batch is starting on 1st of July. So right now, you need to enroll into this particular batch so that you get this batch exactly at 4999. It's not only you are getting this batch at 4999. My dear students, if you are getting the plus subscription or iconic subscription, let me tell you, let me tell you all the batches of an academy, be it in Hindi, be it in English, be it in any language, all the batches of an academy, you are getting absolutely free of cost exactly at 4999 only. So it's a complete package of different teams which you are getting here, right? For example, if you want to study physics by Yavar sir in this batch, yes, you can study physics from Yavar sir. If you want to study chemistry from some other batch, yes, you have got the option to study chemistry from other batch. If you want to study biology from some other batch, yes, you have got the option to study biology from other batch, right? In different languages, right? So all those things are taken into consideration, right? And the best part is one-on-one -on -one mentorship is provided here in this particular batch, which is starting exactly on 1st of July. So I would not want you guys to miss this opportunity to be the part of this particular team, right? Uh, the team which has been producing double-digit, single-digit ranks in the NEET examination from past over and over years, again and again, right? So my dear students, now you know the cutoff has been increasing day on day, day on day, right? Okay, so now, 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 I would say, if you are preparing for the NEET examination, then your target has to be more than 700. And this is the team which has been frequently producing the ranks, right? Crossing the marks 700, right? Every, every year, perfect. And I've shown you the clear examples of that, though, that as well. So all those students who are yet, uh, who were yet thinking, like whether they should take a drop or not and now they have made the decision of taking a drop 
So my dear students, this particular batch is for all of you. The batch is starting on 1st of July. Be the part of it, right? Because we are going to make sure that you all cross the 700 mark for sure in the upcoming NEET 2025 examination. The link is there in the description box of the video. You just have to click on that link, right? And eventually you'll be getting enrolled into the batch which is starting on 1st of July, right? So be the part of the batch. Let's crack it this time, right? Together and we will make sure that we provide all the parameters in this particular batch which are required for this competitive examination to be cracked with 700 plus marks for sure. That's our promise with all of you. So with this, I'll be taking leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.